If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. Today we are going to discuss the theorems on limits of a function. Before this lecture, we have seen the concept of the limits of a function and how the limits are evaluated and where, why do we need to use the limits. Now, the theorems are basically used for evaluating the limits on functions. That these are basically the certain rules that we have to use in order to evaluate the limits of on different functions uh, like while, while adding the functions, dividing the functions or subtracting them or, in, or we have the different kinds of functions. So before having the theorems, we should have a, a concept of the limits on a function in case we have constant value and how you can deal with that. So let's a function is defined near the number say a. For example, the function is defined at x approach approaches to a. Now, in order to understand this concept, let's have a mathematical form limit where x approaches to a as I have written above where to a function f of x and what we will get? We will get a specific value that is l. So, the specific value is represented by l and we have we can read this uh, uh, this mathematical statement as the limit of f of x as as x approaches a is l. So this is basically the mathematical representation of the given uh, statement that I have written above. Now what is the use of this state? Uh, this, um, what is the use of uh, this uh, statement? Let's see. Now you have to keep this concept in mind that whenever you have the uh, limit like this on a function where you are approaching to a specific value that is a then you will get a specific value in the output. Now we can take the example in order to understand this uh, statement. The example is you if you are having a function f of x is equals to x cube and you will be asked to find the limit or limit of a, a limit on this function where x approaches to 2. You, what you will do? You will do limit x approaches to 2 f of x is equals to limit of x approaches to 2 to x cube and you have to put the value of x that is 2 and you will get it means uh, as x approaches to 2 the given function will become 8. So it means f of x approaches to 8 as x approaches to 2. This, th this function is representing the uh, representing this concept. Now it means th that this function is approaching to 8 from the bo um, from both sides. Now what does it mean? x is as we have x2. Let's draw it on a line like this. As we have the x that is where, uh, where we have the value of x approaches to 2. So I'll ha I have written to it like this and I'll write the left and right hand side as this is from right that is approaches to 2 and this is from left. So from left and right whether we are moving towards uh, the from, from uh, less than 2 or from greater than 2 we are approaching towards 2 that is 1.6, 1.7, 1.9 up to so on or 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. So this it means that we have uh, x approaches to 2 means that x is approaching to 2 from both sides even from greater than to, from towards greater side or, and also from towards the lower side or from left side as well as from the right hand side. Then we can say that f of x approaches to 8. So this means f of x is approaching to 8. So it means it is necessary that the x if x approaches to a it should approach from both left and right hand side then we can say that the given function will approach a specific value that is l. So limit of f of x is equal to l only if that x approaches to a from both left and right hand side. Now we move towards the theorems of limits where we will discuss them one by one by using this concept that we have discussed. Theorems on limits. So theorem number one is limits of sum of two functions. It means that how you will apply the limits if you have two functions and they are adding together. So let's see. First we have should have two functions. So let f and g be two functions. That is limit of 
x approaches to a of f of x is equals to l that I have already told you in the concept that uh, whenever x approaches to a from both sides we will get a definite value that is l and limit of x approaches to b g of x is equals to m. Now taking these two functions we can have a theorem number one where we are going to add the two functions that is we have a limit of x approaches to a and we have two functions that are adding together f of x plus g of x then how we can apply the limit on them we can apply them the limit by on each of the functions separately that is limit of x approaches to a f of x plus limit of x approaches to a to g of x. So that will be equals to l plus m that we have already mentioned about that limit of x approaches to f of x will be equals to l and limit of x approaches to a uh, of g of x equals to m. So the, uh, the purpose is that it will uh, uh, require to apply the limit on the function separately. For example, limit of x approaches to 2 and we have two functions x plus 5. We can apply on them as limit of x approaches to 2 on x plus limit of x approaches to 2 on 5. So what we will get x approaches to 2 is equals to as we have to put the value of x as uh, place it with 2. So it will give you with 2 plus limit of x approaches to 2 equals to 5 as we have the constant. So and there is no x so we will uh, write the constant as it is and we cannot apply the limit here and the answer will be like this. So this is how you can apply the limit on sum of two functions if you are given with the two functions like this and uh, this is the theorem number one of the limits of a function. Now we move towards the theorem number two limits of difference of two functions. It is exactly the same as theorem number one just the signs are different. So we can say that you as we have the two functions so if I will say limit of x approaches to a and the two functions are f of x minus g of x. So we can apply the limit on them individually as in case of the theorem number 1. Just the signs are different. The so limit x approaches to a of f of x minus limit x approaches to a to g of x. So the example is example is limit x approaches to 2 of x minus 5 equals to limit x approaches to 2 of x minus limit x approaches to 2 of 5 and we will get at x approaches to 2 of x it will be 2 minus 5 and we will get minus 3. So this is how you can apply the theorem number 2 on the functions that are in the case of difference of two functions. Then we have the theorem number 3 if k is any real number and is multiplying with the function. The limit of x approaches to a you have the function k of f of x. So you can do what? You can easily evaluate by taking the k that is constant as common and applying the limit on the rest of the function. So we will get k into l. L is the definite value that we get by evaluating the given function as x, x equals to a. So its example is limit of x approaches to 2 and the function is 6x. So we can apply it as 6 will be taken as common and we'll apply the limit on the rest of the function as x. And we'll get 6 into 2 that is equal to 12. So this is how we can evaluate the function. If you have a, a constant that is real number and multiplying with the function and there is a limit that you have to apply. Now we move towards the next theorem. Theorem number 4 limits of products of product of two functions it means when two functions are multiplied with each other how you can apply the limits on them. So we will write it as limit of x approaches to a and the function is f of x and g of x and they are multiplying with each other. So in such a case you have to do what? You have to apply the limits on the functions separately like this and mul then multiply them together. So its example is its example is limit of x approaches to 2 and the 
f of x is 4 of x. This is one function and the other function is x plus 2. So we'll apply the limits on them separately as limit x approaches to 2 on 4 of x and limit x approaches to 2 on x plus 2. So what we will get? We will get 4 into 2. This is one function and limit of x plus 2. So 2 plus 2 is another. So 8 plus so 8 multiplied by 4 is equals to 32. So this is how you can evaluate the limits on product of two functions. Now we have the theorem number 5. These theorems will help you in evaluating the limits. So you have to remember all these rules on evaluation on evaluating the limits on function. So limits of quotient of functions. It means when two functions are divided by each other. Let's see how you can deal with them. If you have a function limit x approaches to a and functions are like this f of x divided by g of x. You can deal with it like limit of x approaches to a into f of x divided by limit of x approaches to a to g of x. That means L divided by m where keep this in mind m should not be equal to 0 to avoid the undefined. So the example of the limit of quotient of function is limit of x approaches to 1 3x plus 4 this is one function f of x and in the division we have and in the division we have 2x plus 1. Now how you will solve the limit like this where the two functions are dividing by each other? You can solve such a limit by applying the limit on the individual functions like limit of x approaches to 1 3x plus 4 divided by limit of x approaches to 1 on 2x plus 1. Now we have to put the value of x as 1. Now replacing it with 1 we can say that we can open it like we have already seen the limit of the addition of two functions as limit of x approaches to 1 of 3x plus limit x approaches to 1 of 4. We have to apply the limits on, on them separately as they are adding with each other. Then limit of x approaches to 1 of 2x plus limit of x approaches to 1 of 1. Now we have to simplify it just by putting the value of x as 1. So 3 into 1 plus 4 as there is no x in limit x approaches to 1 of 4. So we will write the constant as it is. In the division we have 2 into 1 and write the constant as it is. So 3 plus 4 divided by 2 plus 1 equals to 7 divided by 3. So this is how you can evaluate a function by using the theorem of limit for quotient of two functions. Now keep this in mind that the that uh, the uh, that the denominator should not be equal to 0 in order to avoid it to become an undefined function. So the last theorem is theorem number 6. Theorem number 6 is for the functions that are having the powers. That is limit of f of x with power n. Now how you will evaluate the limit like this? Let's see. If we have the uh, function like limit x approaches to a and the function is like this f of x power n, then such a limit can be evaluated by taking the limit inside the function and inside the power as limit x approaches to a f of x and then take the whole power. So it means it will be equals to L raised to power n. Now let's have an example of this function as of this uh, theorem as if you have a function like this, this x approaches to 2 and 3x plus 2 whole square. How you will evaluate such a limit? You can evaluate it by moving the limit inside the brackets and applying it on the function as like this 3x plus 2 whole square then as they are adding so we will apply the theorem of addition on the uh, th uh, theorem of, uh, of limits on addition as limit of x approaches to 2 on 3x plus limit of 
x approaches to 2 on 2 and then we will take the whole square. So it will be simplified as we have to replace the x with 2. So 3 2s are 6. 6 plus 2 is constant. 6 plus 2 whole square. Then 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 square is equal to 64. So this is how you can evaluate a limit where there is a power or the exponent in the function. So that's all about the theorems on limits. Uh, what are the uh, six theorems of limits? And basically these are the uh, uh, these theorems are just refer to the concept of substitution of the values as whatever the value of x is in the limit we have just need to to put the value in uh, into the function and to evaluate and then evaluate that the limit so we can also say that theorems basically refer to the substitution method or they are similar as the substitution method or you just need to put the value in, in as uh, in uh, for the x so that's all from today's lecture thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you